Hey, this is Crystal Vaness with Mac Kiteboarding. Today on Chasing the Dream, we're going to be driving from Squamish to Hood River and talking about what to do when you arrive at a new kite spot. Some key points we're going to cover are how to do a proper spot assessment, um, talking to the locals and kite schools in the area to make sure you're well informed, and why being a respectful and community oriented kiter will help you make the most out of your experience on your trip and in your life. So let's go for an adventure. It's my last morning here in Squamish. Uh, I'm going for one more kite session today and then I'm hitting the road. I'll be in Seattle for a conference this weekend and then Monday I'll be heading down to Hood River for some more, uh, for some more wind. Headed down to Portland right now, driving through the city and then over to Hood River for a few days on the water. Okay, so we've made it to Hood River uh, and if you've never been here before, you should definitely come. It's about an hour east of Portland, four-ish hours from Seattle and uh, one of the most amazing kite spots on the west coast. Hood River is well known for kiteboarding, windsurfing, and just an outdoor lifestyle. So everyone that's here is like a mountain biker, a snowboarder, a skier, cross country, like just everything, just everything here. It's really, really wonderful. We've just arrived at a new kite spot. We are in Hood River at the event site. So in this vlog, we're going to cover what to do when you arrive at a new kite spot, which includes your spot check, checking in with the locals, and not being a jerk. Or in other words, how to be respectful at your new kite spot. So let's talk about what to look for when you arrive at a new kite spot. First, you're doing a spot assessment. Do you remember your spot assessment from your beginner kite lessons? I'll give you a quick rundown. When you get to your new kite spot, you have to ask yourself some questions, like which direction is the wind coming from? In Hood River, it's usually coming from that area and going down over the sandbar, which is normally much bigger. So depending on where you launch your kite, you're either going to be facing onshore or side onshore winds, or if you launch at the bottom of the sandbar, you're facing offshore winds. Another thing you want to ask is, what are the obstacles in the way? So here, you know, it might be these trees. Often where those people are over there, there's usually a ton of kites. So obstacles, of course, are other people in kites. There's rocks on the beach, so that's another thing to be careful of. There's a bridge down there. There's a bridge, which you obviously don't want to uh, run into. Usually, if you're down that far, you're already kind of in trouble, though, because you've missed your exit. Okay, it is hot really hot and there's obviously no kiting happening today so I'm gonna grab a beer and then we are going to continue with step two checking in with the locals in the local kite school all right the next thing you want to do when you get to a new kite spot is to ask the local kiters or your local kite school they know things that you may not be able to see just by looking at the spot for example here in the river there's a couple spots in the river that get a little hairy or there's wind holes you wouldn't really know it by looking so these are questions and answers that come from checking in with the local kiters if you're relatively new to kiting and you're not totally comfortable launching and landing and going for it in a brand new kite spot, don't be afraid to check with the schools and take a refresher lesson or get some supervision hours. It never hurts to have a little extra help in a new spot. And last but definitely not least, don't be a jerk. Don't be that guy or girl. Uh, remember that the kiteboarding community is small and everyone you meet here you might meet somewhere else. Not to mention, it's just nice to be nice to people. So be really conscious of yourself and your gear what you're doing when you're at a new kite spot. You know, once you land your kite, wrap up your lines, try not to run into other people, help people launch, help people land. Kiteboarding is a community sport and we're all in this together. And most of all, take advantage of the opportunity to meet other amazing people at your kite spot. Whether they become your kite buddies for today, for the week, or forever, 
this is your chance. So enjoy, have fun. This is Crystal Vaness with Mac Kiteboarding. Let's keep chasing the dream.